What are, do play people from different countries call the same thing? We're going to see what they say in English. Heck yeah. Comparing the Philippines, India, Singapore, and the U.S. Uh, so yeah, let's check this out. We've actually been to the U.S. We're from there. We've been to the Philippines there right now. And we're in India last year. If you want to check out our travel channel, check it out. Link in the description. We got vlogs. We got vlogs from all of those great countries. So we'll have some extra input too. We might know some of these things uh, that they call other than Singapore. We probably don't know anything about Singapore yet. Let's do this. Oh. If you are talking about the actual toilet's toilet, the first one. We skipped the intro. It's the toilet, but if you're talking about the room, then we call it the bathroom. The bath sometimes bathroom. Sometimes on yes. the sign, it'll say like ladies' room, men's room, something like that. But yeah, bathroom. If you're talking about the room, bathroom might also be a regional thing. Some people may say restroom. Midwest suite. Like, but if you go bathroom. Like Your bathroom. Washroom. Mm -hmm. Washroom. Okay. washroom. So in the Philippines, we say ER. Comfort room. Comfort oh, comfort room. This, is, this is interesting ER. because when we go out of the Philippines, like people won't understand. Yeah, no yeah, way. The Philippines is unique because I feel like that's like the only country that actually does something different for the bathroom that isn't like in a few other countries. A lot. We also use bathroom, and for Filipino, we also use baño. Yeah, I'm guessing it's toilet. It kind of makes sense when you think about it. I need to relieve myself. Yeah. Comfort room. I don't know. Like if you say CR, depends on the comfort room. Sometimes I'm a bit uncomfortable, and they might have pee on the floor. Yeah. Sometimes sir. Well, in in India, we just say um, it really depends, just like what Kelly said. Uh, we we say washroom. It, it, we sometimes just say toilet, and sometimes huh? when you go to the washroom or toilet, you see WC written on it. What a closet! Um, but it what a closet! And that is a very, very scientific way. It's something that NASA would use on their <laughs> international space station rooms or whatever. But you'd see WC written on it, mm -hmm. or you'd see, or you just use toilet or washroom, and people would understand. But oh, uh, we should start a lot, like a lot calling of the toilet our own place. We call it like the compost. Compost room, compost CR. Room. It would still be the CR, but oh. we just say it stands for com uh, compost room. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that you said WC means waste compartment because I would think of it as like water closet. Well, really you water sure closet. Another name Ruff. for a bathroom as well. Uh, the water probably. closet. Probably. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's wow. Waste compartment. Yeah. <laughs> in the U.S., we would call this eggplant. So in Singapore, okay. we use brinja. It's not, we use eggplant as well. Isn't I mean, for this me personally, one, at this point, like a different language? Yeah. This, this uh, it seems like, like it. Like, I think I think they call them something different in the UK. That makes me feel good. Because I yeah. feel like eggplant is always kind of the weird term for this. Like oh, whenever eggplant? I say we that call it eggplant, the they're same like, why English eggplant? Though. What is eggplant? It's aubergine. So, I hear aubergine a yeah, lot. I think that's yeah, it. Aubergine. So. Aubergine. Aubergine. <laughs> You just gotta say bloody in front of it, and then it's just UK. Also, and palong. 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 Yeah. Oh, like Tagalog. Yeah. Tagalog. Yeah. Tagalog. Yeah. Because we use English and Filipino, right? right? Mm. Well, in India, we would say brinjal. Um, oh. I, I have absolutely no idea where this word comes from, mm -hmm. but I was recently, I was watching a video and uh, one of our, you know, favorite, um, you know, famous personality from India, um, he is, um, you know, he's a very well-educated man. And we, mm -hmm. we sort of, he has this, he has a trick for very uh, tricky English words. He brings out these new English words from nowhere. And he, apparently he said that brinjal is not even a word. Oh. Well, we, we've been using brinjal our whole lives. Wow. I grew up listening and I, that's the vegetable I hate. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's I like would, stuck in your I mind. I remember, <laughs> you know. But uh, we would, uh, we say brinjal a lot. Brinjal like, isn't very good. But I think they're also influenced by... Are you referring to the name or just the actual... The food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, really, yeah. But we mm. mostly use brinjal. In the U.S., I believe we have many terms for this. Um, dressing room, changing room, oh, I thought it was fitting room. I think all of those flat, like can window be with yeah. curtains and other I think you can curtain. call it anything. Honestly, I thought, I was like, what is that? Like a hotel <laughs> or something? <laughs> <laughs> I know dressing room. Oh, no. I worked at Nike. Changing room? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I'd say 70% of the time people would refer to it as a fitting room. Yeah. Usually we just be like, oh, where's the changing room? Or like, where's the fitting room? Mm. Yeah. Quite similar, right? Similar, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 
in the Philippines also, since we adopt the American English, we use fitting room or changing room. Mm -hmm. Dressing room? No? Dressing room? Not really. Not oh. really? Yeah. No. Not really. Okay, okay. Mm. Right. Um, well, in India, we use, um, it, again, interchangeably, uh, we use trial room most trial of the time. Trial room. Makes um, sense, I guess. A, yeah. I, I think it's, a, it's an Indian English thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we just say trial room. It's just, do you want to go for a trial? You know? It's oh, so scary. It's, it's, it's almost sounds like you want to take this for a test drive. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what it sounds like, but uh, yeah, that's just what we say. We say, do you want to go for a trial? Mm -hmm. I want to go to the trial room. But mm -hmm. then again, obviously, we also say fitting room. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to see how it fits? Do you just want to go to the fitting room? You know, it's, you know, we use both of those interchangeably, but mostly trial, trial room. room. So you can say, do you want to go for a trial? Like, yeah. do you want to try yeah. this on? But yeah, yeah. I would think sense. you're like right. going to court or something, yeah. you know, like, let's actually, go to the trial room. It actually makes sense. Yeah. Like, do you want to give it a try? Doesn't say trial is like something like trial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, actually, it makes sense. Yeah, right, now right. that you mentioned about it, it really makes sense. Right, but I get what Kelly just mentioned. It, it just sounds like I'm dragging you to court. Yeah, yeah it's a court. <laughs> it's so scary. This well, video is yeah. like, all right, we say our things, then we just talk as gals. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, the, the dressing room is a scary place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's true, that's true. That's okay, true. Okay, okay. <laughs> In the U.S., we would call this a gas station. In Singapore, we call it like a petrol station. Yeah, but I think Probably if you petrol use gas station. station Hello. Like in Singapore, I think people will understand like because mm. it's just you know like gas pumping. Right. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how you do it. <laughs> when in doubt, do charades. Like, <laughs> anytime. Uh, in the Philippines, we use gas station also. It's weird because like petrol station, you think would originate from the UK. They refer to it as petrol. And, Hello. Like, almost every other country that would was former UK probably similar petrol possibly. In the U.S., it was former U.K., and they'd say gas station. And then Philippines was former U.S., so they would say gas station also. It's very weird. That <laughs> a lot of the history is just U.K. Yeah. yeah, it is. The U.S. got out of the U.K. before a lot of these things yeah. came out. Yeah. So they got their own words. Mm -hmm. Filipino, it's gasolina hand. Gasolina hand. Gasolina hand. Because like most of the and some of the uh, Filipino, Filipino stuff is Spanish. It's just, uh, a place. The ending would be an or han. Oh. Yeah. In India, we would say petrol pump. pump. So we're pumping pump. petrol in the car. <laughs> so we literally take those words and we say petrol pump. So the pump would mean the actual building as well, or would it just yeah, mean sure. the. It's like a station. Okay. It's, it's a place where we go, it, it, but we just don't say station for some reason. Okay. We say, we just, we just call it the petrol pump. Okay. Well, you should be saying petrol pump station, but yeah, we just say. What do you call the pump? <laughs> also the pump? The pump. <laughs> the pump. Yeah, well, okay. The pump. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, like, like the pumps at the pump. It's the pump at the pump. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In the US, we would call theater. this movie theaters. Some people might call it the cinema as well. Well, in Singapore, we just use cinema. Yeah, it's spelled specifically P H E. None of that R E oh. nah, crap. Nah. Nah. Get that out of here. <laughs> or Sinehan. Like the what I told you earlier. Cine Han. Yeah. Right. So like Cine is cinema. <laughs> and then Han right. where where you watch Interesting. Cinema. Mm. Okay. Uh, well in India we say cinema hall, but that's I mean We went to a movie theater in India, but the title of our video was movie theater. We should have said cinema hall, oh, I guess. Dang now, but In the U.S., we would call this a roundabout. Uh, Actually, a roundabout. Singapore, I don't know if roundabout. my English is not good enough, but we, I think mean, I've heard like roundabout before. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I don't think I ever heard my friend or family member use this word before. Because it's like, okay, there's like four roads. So mm -hmm. usually I'll just say like, you know the four intersections? I think like, like the, um, or, like, sometimes I'll just my friend like what they want to refer to it like professionally in the U.S. is Traffic circle. Yes. But yeah. everyone just calls it roundabout. Another n weird name for it. I, I don't remember. But yeah, I, I, those are the two for sure I've heard the most. Roundabout being way higher up. I don't know if I've ever heard a real person say traffic circle. No, I only hear it on Google Maps. Yes. At the traffic circle, take the third exit. That's like what they the businesses want. Yeah, uh, traffic circle, professional. Do you know the cross? The cross. <laughs> Rotunda. 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 Rotunding around yeah. the circle. Have we seen a rotunda here? There's the big one around Kazan. Oh yeah, just that like massive. We have like a round shape. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hall, I guess. Yeah. And we would call it the I guess, yeah, yeah. It's like it's mostly just a, a small, a circle, circular hall, hall. Yeah. circular yeah. hall, or uh, yeah, because right, it's right, a right. circle. Yeah. So we'll right, call right, it. right. Mm. Well, in India, we would say roundabout. Mm. Roundabout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The beach. In the U.S., you would say, yeah, turn right, turn left, or this has been brought up many times in these videos. Um, in Michigan, at least I think in Michigan, people would say, hang a Louis for turn left. Hang, hang a Louis. Louis. Yeah, hang a Louis. Hang a Louis. Yeah, hang a Louis. A place that's pretty close mm -hmm. to Michigan. Just left. You would not say that. No. <laughs> that's all I heard. Yeah, Old if Minnesota. there's a right one, I don't know. It. Yeah. They should make an app and do it for right as well. Well, we're, we're close to Canada, and a uh, Canadian girl told me that they said, hang a Roger, I think. Hang a Roger? Hang a Roger, she said. Yeah, Roger. So, Just yeah, go sometimes left I'm like, go right. I don't left, know if left, 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 left. This is a my family thing, or like, I don't know where I'm getting this, but hang a Louis. Seems like it could be a Michigan right thing. Hang a Roger. Those Michiganis are very, very oh, weird. Those Michiganders. Yeah. I was surprised by a lot of them. The yeah. WC, the yeah, waste compartment, yeah, yeah, and then the CR. Yeah. CR was Dar. really interesting to me. Yeah. Mm. And the word they use is other. I can't remember. What? What are you going to do? Oh, Hangalooie. Yeah, that's what I was. I don't know how, like, <laughs> if we were to mash up the Indian and American and the Michigan way of saying yeah. it, mm. we should say, take a Louie and take a Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Very so big. If you like the Interesting. Video, like and subscribe well, not, or leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Not really like that Bye. stark of like differences oh, between the different things. You could pretty much tell what each one was. And maybe instead of CR, if you've never been to the Philippines, you'd be like, yeah, there's a few where like we were like a little bit shocked when like we first heard them. But then at that point, we know them. So now we just go CR, 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 fill out. Fill out. Yep. You got to do it in a Filipino accent too, or it doesn't work. ER. But yeah. So these are pretty interesting to see. I mean, every country is different. Every country says, um, even like McDonald's, some people has pointed out to us, like, why do you say McDonald's? It's McDonald's. Yeah. It's, some, people can say things differently in countries. It's, it's crazy. It's called accents. Yeah. They yeah. exist. Yeah. And, and then it's also interesting to examine, like, What's the difference between like an accent and getting into a different language at that point? Because yeah. sometimes they mesh and sometimes you never know. But uh, that's our video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, like the video, check out the travel channel. Bye. Bye.